Oh. I wasn't going to record this, but I figured, why not? This is one of mine. Don't know if you can see, but right here near the white sand, some bit ages ago, I just left it. So, just a little bit of buffing. Get done with this. You can see my reflection right there on the guitar. Yeah, I didn't spend too much time. I'll see. Yeah, right there. That's there, around there, and under the bridge. I'm not too concerned about that because you know it's a sense of control. So I guess worn away anyway, as soon as that. And then, of course, that's put some of the bridge. Yeah. transition here. It's a lot better than it was because this, this was literally just like a big dull patch. So I am really pleased with that. <laughs> All it was just um, brown buffing compound or a stiff wheel, some blue compound on a, a soft wheel and then just rubber back with T-cut scratch remover. Right, next part. This thing's getting a new bridge. The reason it's getting a new bridge is because this isn't the original bridge now you can see there's a, a lot of movement in there and then it's up to play in position and that's all that's 
that's all that's got to sit on. Plus, this being in Nashville, the radius is something like a, a 12 inch, and the actual fretboard on this thing is, um, I think, 9.5. Yeah, 9.5 because I still have the gauge out. And then this uh, ABR styles. I think it's a 10, but. Anyway, that'll go in there. And that'll be good to go. Pardon me. Good thing is, these studs are really similar dimensions. So it should just be straight. Yeah, just like that. Although I am a little bit concerned because I genuinely have no idea where the ground wire is. I think it's there. But it's been so long since I've taken this guitar apart and considering I've not had any grounding issues, you know, that doesn't bother me too much. I'll put some veneer in that. She's in a tiny bit of super glued on there just to give it some grip. Oh yeah, it's much better. Again, just cut a wee sliver off. That wasn't much, by the way, I just cut that before I started hitting resume on the recording. Well, that'll do. Yeah, I'll make you suffer through this one. That's it. Yeah. Right, next up's just a little high fret. Right, it's always this one. This one's the one that's high because it's always that note that's choking out. I know, shocker. I have high frets sometimes. But yeah, it's all about maintenance. Yeah, that one's obviously a bit low, and then the, all these ones have been touched. That's shown a bit high there, so. Keep going just a little bit.
just take that right to the edge there. So that's I'm happy with that. So go back on with the marker. I'll take off a lot more than a lot more this way than I wanted to because it really was only the E string but that's it's kind of E and B yeah. you got you a bit yeah right These Gurian files are really fast. Love them. Right, so that's them all done. Just to do a bit of more clean up. Yeah, again, this is this is one of my guitars. So I'm not not one spent too much time on it. Again, blind edge. So it's not marking up the, f the fingerboard. I always want to say fretboard, but it's not. It's always it's always been called a fingerboard. Of course fretboard makes sense to us guitarists because frets board. Well right now uh, they're not don't you see that? Got a bit of aero ply there to bump the nut up. Because as it was before when I was on the deck, these were far too long getting first fret buzz there, so it up and get it ready. Horrible sound. I won't make you suffer. Shaping the nut after cutting the slots. home stretch really like this we fail Apologies.
got nails on a chalkboard right there. I'm actually going to switch filing devices. usable, always faithful and pointed to her. Just take a sharp corner off of there. Yeah, it's no longer sharp. And it just needs to do that to the other side. And that's a nut shape, it's actually very pleased with that. Yeah. Your da sells everyone. <laughs> yeah. Actually a little bit of a story about this guitar. Um, you know, I was going to my friend and then basically abandoned after the guy didn't want work done on it and then it was offered up to me as a shell like body and neck and I had like an EMG in the bridge and some black tuners and then uh, obviously the EMG belonged to the, the original owner and I wasn't going to like you know steal his what 50 60 pound pickup off him but yeah so that's this one basically done I'm just going to take the pickups out and check the magnet fit because I'm not too sure about the power of these even though they are like quite high resistance. I'll say high is like high enough that they should be louder than what I think they are. And put some electrical tape on them because they add cover so it's just like exposed so I'll put a wee bit of tape on them. Put the strings back on and recheck the intonation and that'll be this thing done. <laughs> 